Okay, so if you remember, last week we talked about timber. This week we're talking about its defects. Um, according to the dictionary, a defect is a shortcoming, fault or imperfection. And that's the case with timber. Um, it's a natural product and um, it can contain natural defects or seasoning defects. Here we've got some pictures of knots. So there's lots of different types of knots, but they usually uh, come into two categories, live knots or dead knots. A dead knot, as it says here, is loose. It's likely to fall out. Uh, it could be an issue, health and safety issue. If you're machining, it could fly out and hit you in the face. Um, it's quite crumbly. It could be an issue if you use the timber. So if you're making a door and it's got a big knot in it, it might not look great. Also, uh, structurally, you know, a big knot could be an issue um, for for safety of the timber breaking. Um, so let's have a look at different defects. So as a recap from last week, we said that timber was into two categories, hardwood or softwood. Now, not necessarily hardwood is hard and softwood is soft. You know, balsa wood is one of the softest timbers, uh, but it's a hardwood. But the name is uh, hardwood. They have leaves on the trees. Uh, they're deciduous, so the leaves fall down often in uh, autumn and winter. And think of like a horse chestnut, a conker, um, the seed, that's the, the tree seed, it's encased. Now you go to softwoods, think of your typical Christmas tree, a uh, fir tree, um, they have needles, it's known as coniferous, uh, and they're in cones. So some hardwoods, as we found out last week, are things like oak, ash, maple, beech, birch, Iroko, Sapele and Teak and then softwoods are things like redwood, whitewood, spruce, yew, larch, cedar, pine and Douglas fir. So as I said some defects are natural so there's lots of things that uh, can affect timber um, that attack it uh, which are natural so that's where some of the defects come from. Some defects like knots just naturally occur in the timber uh, that's where the origin of the branch was. So I just explained the natural defects, but then the seasoning defects. Seasoning is the way we dry timber. So obviously timber's uh, a tree, it's growing, it's full of moisture and sap, uh, and that's called green. And if you try building with green timber, it's more likely to spit, split and shrink. So defects fit into two categories, natural and seasoning. So here's the selection of defects. Uh, like I said, knots before, because uh, it's black and likely to fall out, this is a dead knot. A live knot <coughs> um, is unlikely to fall out. Uh, it's a bit more kind of yellowy or similar colour to the timber. Uh, some knots are um, categorised uh, about where they are on the timber. So this might be a face knot because it's on the face. If it's on the edge of the timber, it might be called an aris knot or an, uh, an edge knot. Now we've got a few different types of defects here which are natural. So here we've got heart shakes. If you see it's in the heart of the tree. Uh, it's the result of the disease or a tree that's been over mature. Uh, and the shakes radiate from the centre of the tree. Over here we've got star shakes. Uh, radial cracks which occur around the outside of the log. Uh, caused by the log being left too long before conversion. Uh, we'll talk about what conversion is uh, next lesson. Uh, over here, another natural defect uh, called uh, cup shakes. Uh, the annual rings have separated uh, due to the lack of nutrients or a tree twisting, uh, possibly because of, of the wind. So there are the natural defects. Uh, here we've got bowing. Uh, this is a splay knot uh, because it's splayed out. Uh, it also could be called an aris knot. Um, and the next couple of tasks that you're going to be doing, you're going to find out all about these defects.